Terrence Bud Crawford and Boots Ennis, they going at it. We gonna talk about what this is actually all about. Did Jerron Boots Ennis duck Terrence Crawford? Did Bud duck Boots? We gonna get down to the bottom of it in this video. But before we do that, make sure that you hit my like button, subscribe to the channel, and make sure that y'all drop a comment after the video is done because I wanna hear y'all thoughts on this. It's going down in boxing. It's a whole lot of talking going on, a whole lot of entertaining things for us to talk about. But let's talk about what's going on right now. What's going on right now is Jerron Ennis and Terrence Bud Crawford, they going at it. Now, we all know that Bud Crawford, he beat Errol Spence and took all of the straps to become undisputed. We also know that Jerron Ennis is Terrence Crawford's mandatory for the IBF strap. We also heard Jerron Ennis saying that, hey, he was sick of waiting because Ennis has been waiting around for quite some while now to get his shot at that IBF strap. And he let everybody know this time he not going to wait anymore. He's going to force the issue. He's sick of waiting. So he put Terrence Crawford in a position to where he either has to fight Jerron Ennis or he had to vacate the strap. Now, this is where it gets tricky because we all know it was a rematch clause with him and Errol Spence, right? That hasn't taken place yet because they still got to get the business figured out. They also got to get the weight division they're going to fight in figured out. So it ain't taking place yet. They haven't even made an announcement. But we know that Errol Spence put in for his rematch. So Bud Crawford is really at a standstill right now. So he could go off and fight Jerron in this. So usually in this situation, when somebody dropped their strap because they don't want to fight the mandatory, I would call them a duck. But I just can't run off and call Bud a duck right now because he has other obligations that he's mandated to. Now the question is, could Bud Crawford have a holler at Jerron Ennis and let him know, I'll fight you, just hold off a little bit, let me finish my business with Errol Spence? Probably if he actually really wanted to fight Jerron Ennis, but this is another situation. Bud Crawford and his whole team, they've let it be known that they don't want to fight Jerron Ennis under no circumstances. I'm pretty sure that Ennis would have waited around for a big fight with Terrence Bud Crawford, but Bud, he did the opposite. Like I said, he let everybody know that, oh, he don't feel that Jerron Ennis deserves a fight against him. He don't feel that Jerron Ennis brings nothing to the table. He doesn't feel that Jerron Ennis bring enough money to the table. It's not a big enough fight. So Bud and his team, they made all type of excuses on why they would never fight Jerron Ennis. Not just right now, because like I said, I understand the situation that Bud Crawford right now, he can't go off and fight Jerron Ennis because he has the rematch clause, right? But they kind of shot themselves in the foot when they came. Him, Bo Mack, and everybody else came, and they was downplaying the Jerron Ennis fight. And Bud said that that fight ain't going to happen. You know, if Bud had to say, yeah, it could happen down the line, let me handle my business with Errol Spence in this rematch, and I'm going to get back to him. But he wasn't saying those things. You see what I'm saying? So this is what makes the situation a little tricky. And this is where people start calling Bud Crawford a duck. Now, of course, you got Terrence Crawford fan base. They're trying to call Jerron Boots Ennis a duck and saying that Jerron Boots Ennis decided to go the IBF route instead of the WBO route. But I believe that Ennis decided to go the IBF route instead of the WBO route is because we know the history of boxing. Well, if you know the history of boxing, you know that the, the IBF, they don't play around. Once you start pressing the gas, if you are mandatory, you're going to get your shot with the IBF. They're not going to have you sitting around waiting. These other sanctioning bodies, you might be sitting around for four or five years waiting for the shot, depending on who the champion is. So I feel that that is part of the reason that Jerron Ennis went the IBF route instead of going the WBO route. A lot of people that are Terrence Crawford fans are in an uproar saying, why did the IBF strip Bud Crawford so fast when Errol Spence was the IBF champion for years and years and he haven't had an IBF mandatory in years? 
Well, the thing with Errol Spence is, Errol Spence did have mandatories, right? But his last IBF mandatory was Carlos Ocampo. I believe that was 2018. But see, the thing is, a lot of these fights that Errol Spence have been having were unification bouts. And he also had a mandatory when he fought Danny Garcia, right? The rest of his fights were unification bouts. So unification bouts and undisputed bouts, they all trump mandatories. Also, people tend to forget there was a point in time that Errol Spence was having IBF mandatories and they was ducking out of the position because they didn't want to fight Spence. Now, when Boots became the mandatory for the IBF, right? He was Errol Spence's mandatory, right? With the IBF, Boots decided to step to the side so he could let Spence and Bud Crawford fight. Knowing that was a mega fight in boxing that everybody wanted to see, including himself, and also knowing that Undisputed trumps mandatories. So before people get to crying, they need to do their history, right? And learn what's going on before they start crying about certain things. Now, I understand the problem that they have because it's like Bud just got the strap and y'all already stripping him. But like I said, I believe that reason is because Terrence Bud Crawford showed no interest in fighting Jerron Boots in his not now and not no time in the future. But one thing we all know is when the fans and the boxing media get involved, oh yeah, it gets real ugly. You know what I'm talking about? And that's the reason why Jerron Ennis and Bud Crawford going at it on Twitter right now. Let's talk about what they saying to each other because Bud Crawford, he just started this whole mess because he continued to throw little comments out there about, oh, Errol Spence fanboys, y'all loving Jerron Ennis now, huh? Y'all on his nuts and his DCK now, huh? And Bud in several interviews, he's let it be known that Jerron wasn't ducking him, but then he got on Twitter and he said that Boots Ennis, he ain't really want to fight him because if he wanted to fight him, he had a chance to fight him. He's saying things about Jerron Ennis and Ennis hearing these things, so he's sick of it. And that's why Ennis has finally jumped on Twitter and he's responding back at Bud Crawford. This is what they saying to each other. So like I said, Bud, he get on Twitter and he popped it all off. He says, everyone I know, y'all loving Boots right now, and that's good. I'm happy for that young guy. But chill on the I'm ducking him part. Boots had two opportunities to fight me and chose to go a different route. So chill. Let the kid make his mark in the sport. Bud had a lot more to say, but the rest of the stuff was just Bud basically venting about the media and the fans in boxing being so biased and turning on fighters that they were once fans of. Like, he feels that a lot of Errol Spence's fans is turning on Spence and try to act like he ain't shit now because he got one loss. Now, it is a lot of fans that do shit like that, right? But I think that also people get it twisted, right? You can be a fan of Errol Spence and you can also be a fan of Jerron Boots Ennis or Terrence Crawford or anybody else in the welterweight division or whatever division it may be, right? See, these Terrence Crawford fans, they running around and acting like just because people want to see Jerron Ennis and Terrence Crawford fight, that all of a sudden you're not a fan of Errol Spence no more. No, I want Errol Spence to get his lick back, but I've always wanted to see Jerron Ennis against Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford. That don't mean I'm not a fan of Errol Spence no more. You can be a fan of more than one fighter in the same division. Like, so let's cut it out with this BS because you don't want to fight the man. I understand you have your reasons why you don't want to fight Jerron Ennis. I mean, it happens like this all the time when you get a young hungry lion that's coming up and you've had certain accomplishments that you've had in your career and you a vet, the vets don't really want to be giving these young men chances. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't just Bud Crawford. We seen the same thing happen when Errol Spence was coming up. It always happens this way. Terrence Crawford could be a fighter to change it, but he ain't going to do that, so it is what it is. Now, Jerron Boots Ennis, he comes back and he responds, and this is what he had to say. Bud had opportunities to fight me, and still do. But you rather them strip you and give me the title instead of me taking it from you because you don't want to fight me that bad. 
That stunt you pull, see through. Laugh out loud. And what he's talking about is, you know, but basically not fighting him. You know what I'm saying? Pulling the stunt and making it look like that. Jerron Ennis is just grabbing the title, being the email champion and all of that. But he's saying, man, people see through that shit that you're doing. You don't want no smoke with me. But we know he don't want to fight Jerron Ennis because him and his team both said it. Now, Jerron Ennis also comes back and he says, y'all be betraying the image for the net. Stop capping. So you're basically saying that, you know, Bud and his team, they on here betraying the image for the internet when they know they don't want no smoke behind the scenes. And that's how that young man feel, right? But boxing is a business. It's a whole lot more to it. And like I said, man, I understand where both of these fighters is coming from because when it comes to Bud Crawford, when you become a veteran and you got all these accomplishments, you don't want to put them on the line against a young hungry line like that because all these fighters now, they trying to keep their O, especially if you, you know, up in your career like Bud Crawford is and you still got an O, he trying to keep his O. And if he going to lose it, he want to lose it in a big, big, big mega fight where he could break the bank and gain generational wealth, but he don't see Jerron Ennis as being that. You know, man, all this talking back and forth, we as fans, we got to realize this is what these men do. They fight for a living. So on Terrence Bud Crawford's part, yes, you beat a great opponent in Errol Spence. But that's it. You know what I'm saying? You feel that now you can just go off in the sunset and you don't have to do nothing else in the sport of boxing while you're still active? No, it's still other fighters out there like Jerron Ennis that people want to see you fight. That's why I got so much respect for Floyd Mayweather, man, because Floyd Mayweather fought killer after killer after killer. He didn't just stop when he fought one killer and said, okay, now I don't got to do nothing else. So that's the difference. But you know, Jerron Ennis, man, I think he's going to be a great, a great generational type of talent fighter. And I think that Bud Crawford is a great fighter. So let me hear what y'all think about this whole situation. Make sure that y'all drop that comment. I want to hear from y'all for real on this one. Uh, also, make sure that you hit my like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subbed. And y'all already know how I do. Dang, you talking that boxing again. And I'm gone. When I leave, dude. Two miles per hour. So everybody sees you.